Hello and welcome back to Personal Finance Made Easy. Today is a, another update on the third stimulus check. I just wanted to show you what they're talking about over on Twitter. Some people have reported that they have received it. Some people like this person here, Victoria, said that she received it and then it got reversed. There is a few issues. It's still early on. What I assume will happen is that these stimulus checks will officially hit the bank accounts on Monday or Tuesday, just because if you know how the banking system works, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or even Friday after four o'clock is technically the weekend. And so businesses and, and banks and stuff don't actually recognize deposits until it happens on the first week day, which is going to be a Monday. So even if you see or saw your stimulus payment go through over the weekend on Saturday, Day, it will probably be official on Monday at the latest Tuesday if you're in the first round. Now, from what everything that I've read, there will be at least four rounds. Uh, direct deposit people that have made the least amount of money will get their stimulus checks first, followed by, you know, it'll be a kind of like an upward movement. The more money you wait, you made, the longer you'll have to wait. And then the people that are getting paper checks are going to get them absolutely last. So that'll take a little while. And of course, there'll be some hiccups. So a few things that we know. If you changed your bank between the second and third stimulus check and you didn't notify your your you didn't know the notify the Department of Treasury or the IRS, you're going to get a paper check and it's gonna take longer for the simple fact that uh, the Department of Treasury are going to try and send your direct deposit payment to uh, the bank that you no longer have. It's gonna get rejected, so it's gonna get sent back and then they've gotta send out a paper check. So that's gonna take a little while. Uh, we also know too. Uh, we also know too that everything is approved, everything's passed, the checks are coming. Um, it will be a little while. Now I brought up this story by the USA Today because it has a a tracking idea. It talks about the IRS updated the Get My Payment tool, so you can know exactly how much you're going to receive and about when you're going to receive it. So uh, check out this tool. Uh, you just click on Get My Payment tool and it'll open up. I'll leave a link to this article in the in the description, so definitely check that out. Uh, as you can see, click on this big blue button. It says Get My Payment. It'll give you some up-to-date information and you'll, you'll be in the know. But again, so what we know, we know that uh, the payments have had started going out as early as Friday, um, Friday, 11 a.m. Some people were reporting. People have seen that the checks have hit their account and then, you know, they checked again, they hit refresh and they disappeared. Most likely those payments will go all the way through and be official on Monday, Tuesday at the latest, because again, the way the banking system works is uh, weekends aren't considered actual days in the eyes of banks, weekends and holidays. And so bu official business is not conducted until the next business day, which in this case would be Monday, Tuesday at the latest, depending on your banking. Um, we can go over to the IRS website to check our, get my, get our, get my payment. Easy for me to say. And so we'll learn a little bit there, but definitely check out this article over on the USA today. It does have a little bit of information about when your check is going to be received. Um, also other things that we know, is there was a ton of um, additional money packed into the, the recovery um, stimulus bill. Um, so state, local aid, schools are gonna get aid, uh, more vaccination centers and, and more testing is going to be available as well. The other thing that I wanted to point out with the stimulus payments is it's going to be based on your adjusted gross income, AGI, from your most recent tax filing. So what that means is if you did not file in 2020, they're going to base your stimulus check payment on 2019 AGI. So, and you can actually look that up as well on the IRS website. Uh, look it up on the website. It takes probably 15, 20 minutes to create an account. If you need to create an account, do not call them. It's gonna be impossible to get a hold of anybody. Uh, and certainly don't ask for don't don't ask for the information to be mailed because you'll probably get the check and your AGI information on the same day. Um, another thing that you can do is if you file electronically, let's say you use a tax preparation software, you can go look at that information. Uh, that information should be saved and they will have your AGI and, and the relevant information there. So there's a number of places that you can go to get an idea. Now, it's probably too late at this point for most people to file your 2020 taxes. I've been saying for the last two weeks that this was gonna happen pretty quickly so that you wanted to go and go ahead and at least look at your 2020 taxes because we know that 
the people that qualify for the full amount, the four one full fourteen hundred amount, is is different. It changed, and the people that qualified for any money is changed. Uh, according to uh, President Joe Biden, about eighty five to ninety percent of the people that received a stimulus last time, the second stimulus, are going to receive a third stimulus. So that's why it was important if you are, uh, if the amount of money that you made, if your adjusted gross income changed dramatically between 2019 and 2020, that you should have filed your taxes. But you know, one of the things too, is if there's a difference, you can still file your taxes and potentially get a credit there as well. Um, so I do need to throw out that disclaimer that I am not your tax guy. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a tax attorney. I'm not an attorney. So make sure you consult with your tax people to make sure that you have absolute 100% clarity. But uh, you know, the, the checks are going out. They have gone out. This is a lot of good news. Hopefully, best case scenario, we hear even more good news. Uh, the other thing that I want to point out is if you have children, you are in line for more credits. You are in line for more payments. Also, uh, if you were on unemployment, using unemployment because you were unable to work because maybe you have kids or your job uh, disappeared due to COVID. The um, unemployment benefits have been extended all the way until August. So that's a good thing as well. Uh, a lot of good things are coming from this. A lot of people are indeed struggling and need that help. And this bill was designed, uh, law was designed to help them. So what we know, just to summarize, some people, if you look over at, um, at Twitter, in social media in general, people are reporting that they are receiving stimulus payments, direct deposits. Some people are saying that the direct deposits have been given and then rescinded. Uh, that's got to be a, a punch to the gut. Uh, if you, you're you counting on that money and you know you want to go spend it or you, know, you want to go to Walmart or something and it's just not there anymore. Um, as you can see here, right here, it says Mary Ellen here says $1,400 stimulus, direct deposit payment stay, third stimulus check update. It looks like she's just reporting on it, but uh, people are, um, are saying that. And then the other good thing is, is you can actually track where your refund is. If you go over to the IRS website, if you click on the article that I link in the description and you click on get my payment tool, it will take you over. It will take you over to the IRS website and then you click the shine blue button. Unfortunately, you are not able to add your direct deposit information at this point. If you are expecting a, a paper check, if you change your banking information, you are going to get a paper check. So if you closed your bank between the second and third, you're going to get a paper check and it's going to take you a little bit longer. So make sure you keep it locked in here at Personal Finance Made Easy as I continue to keep you up to date with the latest news and information with regard to the third stimulus check. Remember, I also talked two weeks ago about reoccurring stimulus checks and that's that was that's something that some senators are talking about uh senator cory booker out of new jersey him and nine other senators democratic senators senators sent a letter to president joe biden talking about offering reoccurring stimulus payments until america united states has made it through this um pandemic. So that is still on the table. That hasn't been shot down. Uh, it hasn't gained traction or steam yet. If it does gain traction steam, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you can get the latest information with regard to your um, reoccurring stimulus. So this is, once again is personal finance made easy. Thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow.